It appears we've experienced an anomaly with today's flight. This was unplanned. Breaking news at noon, Blue Origin running into trouble launching its new Shepard rocket in West Texas. We're told the launch experienced, quote, an anomaly. But Blue Origin officials have yet to officially say what happened during the launch. The host of Blue Origin's coverage said, quote, this isn't planned. We do not have any details, but our crew capsule was able to escape successfully. Blue Origin tweeted saying they're responding to an issue at launch site one and that more information on the anomaly is still to come. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Warmoth. The NS-23 flight had 36 parcels on board, mainly comprising of experiments made by students across the country, one of them coming from the Neo City Academy in Kissimmee. New 6's Mark Lehman was there as the students watched the liftoff not go as planned. A wide range of emotions for students here at Neo City Academy in Kissimmee, something that ended in disappointment, but also hope for what's next. It was a liftoff that began with cheers from students who were lucky enough to have one of their experiments on board Blue Origin's New Shepard 23. And inside it is going to be technology that can measure whether or not different types of waves will be affected in space. But reaction quickly changed at Neo City Academy in Kissimmee. No! It feels like um, when you think like the ball's going to go in the basket, but then it bounces out somehow. Blue Origin reporting an anomaly with the uncrewed launch in West Texas, meaning the experiment, one of 36 payloads on board, fell short of its goal to space. And I think that's what hurts me more, is that it wasn't something that I know we can do anything about. It's the latest speed bump for these students who have seen months of delays from COVID and a scrub launch last month. I'm feeling... Still proud of what we did, but I'm a little bit disappointed. Now questions remain for the next steps and what could be a long process for the liftoff to happen again. I know it'll happen. I just can't wait until it does. From here, the students are waiting for additional details from Blue Origin and to find out the condition of their experiments. And that's when they're hoping to learn exactly what type of shape those experiments are in and if or when they'll be able to launch again. In Kissimmee, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. And we're expecting to hear more from Blue Origin about what went wrong with today's flight later this afternoon. We'll have the latest updates on ClickOrlando.com and News 6 starting at 4.